Hello also in last video we saw how can we pause and resume database mirroring. We also saw how pausing or resuming database mirroring affect transactional logs. Now in this video we are going to see how can we do the manual failover which is part of a role switching. So before actually performing the manual failover let's go over through the documentation. So this is the link which I have provided and that's the documentation provided by Microsoft. So as you can see role switching during database mirroring session. Now there are three parts over here. First is a manual failover. Second is automatic fa automatic failover. Now we, ca we cannot do automatic failover right now because for that we need a witness uh, node which we do not have right now. Next is a force force service that will de uh, that will per, uh, see in the next uh, video. But for this video, we'll see how can we do the manual failover. So let's understand what the manual failover is first of all. So it's highly safety mode supports manual failover. So there are two parts when it comes to database mirroring. Let me go back to node one now. And currently my HR database is in mirroring state. So if I go back task and if I click on mirror over here, you can see two different options. One is operating mode. So there are two different ways you can perform the mirroring. First is high performance. Second is high safety without automatic failover. Always commit changes at both the principal and mirror and high performance you commit changes at the principal and then transfer them to the mirror. So by default we have selected this one and if I go back to my documentation so manual failover is possible when our mirroring is uh, happening with high safety mode which is there right now. Whenever the database is synchronized the database owner can initiate a manual failover. Manual failure is provided for administrative purposes. So let's assume you are doing some uh, maybe backup or something, something related to that node you are doing and you need to take down that node and you wanted to avoid the downtime. That's why you can fail over to the mirrored node. So for more information, see manual failure. So if I click on this link, so what it says is, so manual failover, manual failover disconnects the clients from databases and reserves the role of the partners. The only only high safety mode supports manual failover. That's okay. In this section, maintaining availability during upgrade. So let's assume you are doing the upgrade of your SQL server or uh, that node Windows server itself. In that case, in order to, as I said, to avoid the downtime, you can fail over that to the a mirrored node okay now how that manual failover works let's click on that so manual failover initiates the following sequence of action the principal of our server disconnects client from principal database sends the tail of the log or tail log you can say to the mirror mirror server and in preparation of switching to the mirror role sets the mirroring state to synchronizing mirror server records the log sequence number uh, of the last log record received from the principal as failover as LSN. Uh, if any log is waiting in, the, I mean, this is all fine. The mirror server becomes a new principal server. So basically, uh, current active principal will become the mirror server and current uh, mirroring server will become the principal server. So let's go back to my node one. What I will do is let's first find out how many records we have in the employees table okay so what I will do I will truncate this table I don't need all these records now I will manually insert the records in this table ID and name values one all right i will insert one record now in order to fail over to other node what we can do right click task mirror and there is a button called failover we have to make sure it is running with high safety mode which is there and i will simply click on failover now it will prompt a message what it says is 
failing over database mirroring will swap the roles of mirror and principal database that is what we are expecting to do i will click yes so before that let me go back to i will minimize this guy i will go back to node 2 so this is my mirrored instance okay so it is currently if i refresh this guy so it's currently mirrored synchronized restoring state if i try to connect this it won't allow me i cannot query this particular database right now because it is not accessible right now it's currently in restoring phase okay yeah as you can see it's not allowing me okay i will cancel this now i will fail over i will go back to node 1 i will click yes now principal synchronize will get changed to restoring state i will refresh this guy perfect it got restored it went into restoring state now i will go back to mirrored node and refresh this guy principal and synchro now i can access this database and let's select star from employees i should see one record let me add another record here insert into employees id name I will add another record here, second record. Perfect. Now what I will do, I will again switch over. I will fail over this task. It's that easy. So go to mirror. Fail over. Yes. Perfect. Now this should go into restoring phase it is and I should be able to access node 1 refresh okay so let's hit select star perfect to record so we have seen how can we fail over how can we manually fail over the mirrored instance all right now the last thing which we are going to do is removing the mirroring okay we have already seen that but let's go over through the documentation <coughs> now as you can see this topic describes the removing the mirroring from the database if i scroll down to remove the database mirroring so we have done that mirroring so far using ssms you can do that using transactional uh, sql as well i mean uh, transact sql or actual sql query as well all right and follow up with the removing database ring this also command we have already executed so what it says is if you intend to restart the mirroring of the database we, we are not intend to do that or rather we have seen that already if we are again wanted to restart the mirroring you have to uh, restore the log backup so any log backup taken on the principal node after the mirroring was new must be applied to the mirroring node okay otherwise if you are not intended to restart the mirroring if you want to access the actual mirrored instance then optionally you can recover the former mirror database on the server instance that was the mirror server you can use the following transact transact sql statement because remember when you will remove the mirroring i will come back to that point so what we'll do we'll remove the mirroring between these two database so as you can see here this is currently in principle synchronized this is the main instance and if i go back to mirrored instance it is currently in restoring phase so even if even after removing the mirroring it will still be in restoring phase and i won't be able to access that database so let me remove the mirroring first i'll right click task mirror i will simply click on remove mirroring perfect okay now let's go back to our mirrored instance it is it will be still in recovering mode still in recovering mode if i try to access i won't be able to access this database so that's what they have mentioned here if you do not intend to restart the mirroring then in order to access that database we have to move that into recovery mode so currently it is in the restoring mode so what i will do i will run that on master database hr with recovery and if i restart or refresh i should be able to access the database now
all right perfect so basically in this video we have covered how can we manually switch over or fail over our mirrored uh, two different instances principal to uh, mirrored and mirrored to fail uh, principal and we also saw how can we remove the database mirroring now in next video we'll see how can we perform this force service that is also part of a role switching all right so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video